All right, what's up, Reaper team? Welcome to Captain's Corner with Captain Zach and myself. So today's February 17th, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the new striped bass regulations that New Jersey has set aside. Um, as of now, I'm pretty confident it is going to go through and get approved. So basically what happened this past spring, the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Council, so basically it's a governing body that looks at um, the marine species between pretty much Maine and all the way down to Florida, or a little bit north down to Florida. Florida does their own gig and they do a great job by the way. But basically this past spring they deemed the striped bass population overfished and they uh, called for an 18% reduction in the overall quota. So the Atlantic states were mandated to comply with this 18% reduction um, and they were saying one fish between 28 and 35 inches or you could do your own thing per state provided it complies with the overall 18 percent reduction and the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council just voted to adopt a slot size between 28 and 38 inches and then starting May 15th they're going to actually give out 27,000 bonus tags and that's going to be one fish between 24 to 28 inches per tag and I believe once the tags are sold and once you use it, you're done. Um, now, Zach here, you know, is here to kind of share his thoughts. I want you guys to share your thoughts in the comments below. And also, too, if you're you know new to the channel or you like the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, ding that bell down there. Give me a favor, and uh, you'll get notifications on future videos. But at any rate, I'll start off, Zach. My thoughts are, I actually really like it. Um, personally, I think one fish between 28 and 35. Per guy, that's enough meat. You're getting two fillets about this size to take home for your family. You get to go out and catch some fish. Um, for me, it's okay, and you're not killing those over fish. Those, those, you know, our prior regulation was one between what 28 and 43, and then one over 43. That was our over, and I just feel like there was no reason to keep that over fish. Um, it's a big breeding female. In addition, in the spring, when those fish are coming up, the Delaware Bay, the Raritan, the Molica, those big fish, those are our pregnant females ready to fill with eggs to spawn. So specifically, these last couple of years, the, the Raritan's been great. So why, why target those real big fish? So personally, I like it. Um, my cat's having a sneezing attack. So personally, I like it, but I don't run a charter. And as the years go by, you and I, we don't really stripe or fish that much anymore. No, it's hard now. That's right? What, we're, we're kind of biased towards the stripers because we, we get our shot at it whenever we can. But for the everyday guy, it's probably, you know, to hop on a charter boat, only get one fish, it's probably real tough right, to that's, swallow. Yeah, that's where we feel like it's... Pay good money. Yeah, you pay good money going on a charter right. boat, and you're only allowed one take one fish home. That's where I think it kind of stinks for the guy that, that only gets down, or girl that only gets... It's here to do it, you know, every now and then. Zach and I get a chance, we can fish all the time. But it's going to harm the charter boats because they're not going to get the same business. Because like you said, the guy's not going to want to pay all that money on his day off. Unless you try to look at it as you, you want to go fish. When you catch fish, then you get to take, you get to take plenty of meat home with one, one fish. Agreed. But Agreed. as long as, you know, trying to get those fish back in the water and make sure they survive, it's probably be a... Uh, Quite big. That's the other key point. We have to have the circle hooks now, so they're, gotta they're have trying. circle hooks. Yeah, I think, you know, I think it's it's going to be a little bit easier if you're if you're live baiting them or jigging them, as opposed to trolling. trolling yeah. When you're trolling and those fish are hitting, you're going three four knots, and you're really putting a big hole in their mouth. And then I feel like by the time you get them to the boat, lugging that heavy mojo rig or or spoon or whatever, they're pretty exhausted. Yeah. Whereas you get them to the side of the boat with a, a live bunker or a jig, they're fired up. Yeah, I so. agree. And that, but that's what's stressful on those big, the big girls that are pregnant too. Because I don't know, I haven't really looked into how much that stresses them out as far as... What's that? When like, you have prolonged flight on a big pregnant, pregnant female. Yeah. That probably can't be good. Yeah, I mean, sure, you want to... But it's hard, you can't pick what fish you're catching. Right, so. right. And that's, that, you know, that goes back to when I was living away from the beach I used to go get the spring run um, in the Delaware River and I was catching those big females and and ultimately I stopped doing it because I, I didn't want to harm them anymore and, and I was using heavy tackle trying to get them in real quick remember I was telling you I was getting them on the blowworms and yeah. stuff uh, but I stopped doing it they're there to breed and I didn't want to harm them I mean it's catch and release only but still I didn't want to harm them but 
But yeah, I think for the average guy that's going down and doing a charter, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt the charter guys. But my thoughts are, man, and I've said this before, if you're going out there to catch meat and catch dinner, you probably shouldn't be. You should probably be at work. Right? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've always said that. If you're out here to catch your dinner, you probably should be at work. I don't know. So any, what else? Any other thoughts, Captain Zach? No, it's just tough. It's I was going to say, we're so spoiled. We can fish whenever we want. But, yeah. for, but I think the striper, it, I think it's good. I think it's great. Yeah. Give the the, stri- also, give the give the population a couple years to, to Yeah, there's so many guys that bit. striper fish. Like, I don't yeah. know if anyone never been out there in November. It's boat to boat on the weekend. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't even want to take my boat out on the weekend for striper. Right. And not only that, it's, it's so hard because, you know, nowadays with the advent of cell phones, text messages, Facebook, Instagram, it's like, yeah, they're three miles off Barnegat at this number. Come on up. And then, you know, they got no chance. Um, my thought is, too, we also don't striper fish that much anymore because it's not as fun. I, Ten years ago, I would get them eeling my inlet at night all by myself or live baiting spot or, or chunk and bunker, that fishery does not even exist anymore. Down here in Brigantine, Atlantic City, and South, and even the old Delaware Bay, Zach and I grew up fishing eels in the Cape May Rips. That doesn't exist. Then down there in the Delaware Bay, the guys were catching them on, on you know bunker in the, in the fall. That really doesn't exist. And for me, I, I used to catch them on live spot and eels in my inlet, jigging and live baiting my local lumps. You can't do that anymore. It's all trolling. It's all running and gunning, and that's not as fun for me. So we don't even do it that much anymore. No, trolling's not fun. Yeah. We start catching them, you know, a couple good trips, but other than that, yeah, you no know, top water or you know that's great when there's a you know blitz up top. It's very yeah. rare. Top water jigs. Jigs, yeah, live bait. There's bunker. Yeah, snag and drop. Trolling is, is super productive, and and yeah, it's fun when it's good, but it's not my preferred way of catching them. Um, but I say let's see how this goes. I'm really curious to hear all your thoughts and comments. Um, I guess we'll find out. It's going to yeah. probably get finalized, and, and we'll see. Um, I just wish that New Jersey would be a little bit more like Florida. Florida is really good with slot sizes. Their research is good, but they always overlap, and they always let you target something that's actually in season and available to catch. Here, TOG they don't let you start going to get a good amount till November 15th. And of course the weather's horrible yeah. and you can hardly ever get out for them. You know, so it's, it's kind of tough, but. Earlier season would be better for Todd. But Florida, they had so many different species yeah, too. Yeah, that's a so good point for too. Us. Yeah. But I would like to see now that we don't striper fish as much for, well, we don't striper fish as much. I'd like to see them make the Tog season a little bit earlier so we could do that. Get them back here in the jetties and in the in the back bays before they move out. That'd be neat. So, yeah. yeah, it's one. It's one now, right? Yeah, you love you love one, you're one until November fifteenth. Yeah. yeah, even the beginning of November would be nice. Mm-hmm. Proper limit. How's that turmeric coffee? Different. Uh, Different. Coffee additive. Yeah. It's okay. I got black coffee. At any rate, guys. So this is um, our first captain's corner. I figure I go over these regulations. Um, provide you guys with the info on what you're going to be doing with this spring and this fall and this summer. Um, I like it. I know others are not. We'll we'll just have to see. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Hit that like button. Ding that silly bell. Subscribe. Man, we'll we'll have the boats in soon enough. Right, bud? Soon. Getting all the gear ready now. Re-rigging. Getting the line spooled up and all that. So soon. It's a lot of work running an offshore boat. And I'll reiterate, we're not a charter. We just do this for fun. Yeah. But we take it as a compliment that you guys think that. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you. I like the sneezing. Sorry. Sorry, Lele. Yeah, no, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, was she sitting right there the whole time? She was walking back and forth. I couldn't stop looking at her. That's great. Kill what do you all. think about the stripers? Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all, Chris. I don't eat fish. So don't, she doesn't even eat fish, guys. I've said it before. Fresh tuna, striped bass, scraps of whatever we catch. She's not into it. I don't know why. Right, Lele? Alright, good.